The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Yusuf Tuga, has held high-level discussions with the Minister of Sweden, Finland and Iceland, as well as representatives from Norway and Denmark, as Nigeria seeks to improve multilateral relations with this country. The meeting, which was held in Abuja, was aimed at bolstering ties between Nigeria and the Nordic countries. The Nordic delegation, led by Swedish Foreign Minister, acknowledged Nigeria's immense contribution in regional peace and stability, pledging the country's support to the country and expressed a resolve to improve relations for the benefit of both parties. You are very welcome to Africa's largest democracy, Africa's largest economy, um, the most populous country in, in Africa with a population of 220 million people uh, to become 400 million by the year 2050, the third largest country in the world. So, um, of course, we share a lot in common uh, beyond our democratic norms, traditions, and values. We also um, have aspire uh, to the same um, uh, democratic ideals, and I'm happy uh, that you mentioned your support to see a reform of the United Nations uh, Security uh, Council, uh, the permanent members, and of course uh, our aspiration uh, to become uh, not only a, a permanent member, but then also, you know, maybe closer, we're looking at uh, the membership of the United Nations Security Council. And of course, uh, this aspiration for democratizing the global governing institutions of, uh, of, of, the, of the planet uh, goes beyond the United Nations. That is why we're aspiring also to become a member of the G20 and, uh, and several other uh, important uh, bodies. And that is uh, really why we have the four Ds, democracy, development, demo demography, and diaspora, um, which I will uh, you know, expand on uh, a bit later. The eight-point agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, uh, as you can see, has quite uh, a bit of overlap with the uh, SDGs, which I know uh, all the countries here present um, have been supporting strongly uh, in terms of implementation and of course the good work that all the countries have been doing uh, in the Lake Chad region is something that is not unnoticed by Nigeria and it's something that we, uh, we really appreciate and that we uh, treasure. Uh, we're looking to engage to learn uh, so much from all the countries um, because the Nordic region is one that excels in terms of a circular economy. This is something that uh, we feel we can do a lot uh, uh, together. Um, the, your triple helix is something also that uh, uh, we're monitoring we're, and admiring uh, from a distance and we want to uh, see how we can uh, benefit from that uh, mutually and um, there are several other areas that um, you know I think we can delve uh, further into but uh, we really appreciate this visit. The adoption of Security Council Resolution 2719 is a welcome step in this direction. At the same time it is important to recognize and address Africa's underrepresentation in the Security Council and to this end the Nordics supports the extension and expansion of the Council in both the permanent and two-year term elected categories. Just like Nigeria, the N5 is firmly committed to standing up for the international rules-based order, democracy and human rights. These values are now under attack, notably through Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, which threatens not only peace and security, but the very principles of territorial integrity and sovereignty. And we acknowledge and welcome Nigeria's clear stance in the UN General Assembly on this matter in defense of international law and the UN Charter 